right, it is 5.30. I'm going to call the public works meeting to order. Um, start with roll call. Uh, Alderperson Peters? Here. Alderperson Rust? Present. Alderperson Ringham? Here. Alderperson Bellinger? Here. All are present. Uh, let's uh, start with the allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Uh, if there's no objection, I think we could skip the introductions or. Everybody know everybody here? Are you good? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go to number five, approval of minutes from May 14th, 2024. Uh, I, I move to approve. Second. Motion is made and seconded. Any discussion on those minutes? Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Those are approved. Uh, item number six, uh, it's direct referral resolution number 26, 20. Five resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials enter into a contract for repairs and improvements to the masonry exterior sealants of Mead Public Library. Uh, I received a notification from the attorney's office. Uh, they was asked to uh, um, file this because we uh, the, the wrong account number was listed in the resolution and some other things are needed, so we have to, it has to be filed and uh, re resubmitted. So I'm looking, looking for a motion to file. I move to file. Second. It's made and seconded. Um, any discussion on this? Yeah, just a quick question. So sure. they, because of, there was some. It's just a mix up. The mix up. So yeah. they. they it'll, come it'll come back. It's just going to come back right. in the next. It'll get. Go, it'll go back to council and it'll come back again. So we'll, okay. we'll see it in two weeks. We'll see it again. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Uh, number seven, direct referral resolution informal. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources that the 2023 compliance maintenance annual report has been reviewed. Uh, I guess this will be Jordan. Yes, thank you. Um, and I plan to read the entire. <laughs> um, no, I appreciate the chance to just present this to the to the committee, and then um, assuming that you guys are okay with it tonight, it'll go to the council next Monday. We do have to prevent, provide this to the DNR by the end of the month. And so um, essentially the timing is pretty important, which is why it's the direct referral tonight. Um, just to kind of long story short, many of you have seen these before. It's something that we file every year just to show the DNR that we're in compliance as a wastewater system with the many regulations that they have. Um, if anybody is, is looking at the document, the second to last page might be the best summary. It just shows the different sections that are in this long report, um, including the influent is the material that's coming into the wastewater plant. The next several sections look at the effluent, which is the water leaving the wastewater plant into Lake Michigan. It looks at things like biological oxygen demand, solids, ammonia, phosphorus, and then it looks at the biosolids or the fertilizer that we generate. Um, it looks at how our staffing is and how our preventative maintenance program is. It looks at whether <laughs> our operators have the correct certifications that are required. Um, it asks about our finances and then it looks into the collection system, basically the sewers that are under our streets and bring the, the wastewater to the plant. So I know I went through that list pretty quickly, um, so I'm happy to, to elaborate on any of that if you want, but basically um, the good news is that we got uh, straight A's, essentially. Um, they kind of use that way of, of um, showing us, and we got a 4.0 average again. Mm -hmm. um, there were a couple of hiccups. In, <clears throat> this is for 2023. I should have mentioned that up front. Uh, there were a couple of hiccups in 2023 that um, I wasn't sure if might mean that we got a 3.8 instead of a 4.0, um, <clears throat> but as you can see, it, it didn't affect the score. Those outliers are that we did have one permit violation uh, for chlorine residual in July, uh, just kind of a freak um, situation there at the plant. And so we don't often have permit violations, which is really good news. And apparently one permit violation didn't affect our score. <coughs> As those of you that have been on the council for a while know, we did have that emergency resolution back in September to buy two new aeration blowers mm -hmm. um, and so that was really a, a good move for the plant so I'm very grateful for that. We did use our mandatory equipment replacement fund to help pay for that since it wasn't a budgeted item and so there are some notes in the report just to explain to the DNR why we tapped that because that's pretty unusual. Usually that equipment replacement fund 
it's there for that reason, but we don't have to tend to it very often. This was one case where we did, and we just wanted to make sure that was known. Um, and again, that didn't affect our score. So again, a lot is there, and, and I'm happy to try to explain anything more or elaborate if you have questions, but for the most part, really good news. And the reason that this is worded the way it is, that you have reviewed it and the city council has reviewed it, is that really with this kind of score, the DNR only requires any action that we take is a voluntary thing. Um, obviously, if we got into the D or, or F range, you know, then it becomes more of a regulatory thing. But they just want to make sure that the city council has reviewed this. And since it's a good score, it's voluntary that we do anything. Thank you, Jordan. I uh, just want to make one quick comment. I, I'm, I'm happy to see it. I know that in the past you've been kind of concerned about the phosphorus and the changes of the things like that. And I, 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 to see that it's it's doing well is good. Um, is there any concerns that you have going into the future or anything like that? No, and I'm glad you brought that up. This is actually we're really fortunate to be discharging our wastewater directly into Lake Michigan. Um, you know, I spent almost a decade um, in, in Fond du Lac there with the receiving water being Lake Winnebago. <laughs> Um, we were looking at a very, very um, strict phosphorus limit in our wastewater. In fact, for a time, we were looking at 0 0.04 milligrams per liter or parts per million, which is, it's almost hard to measure, much less achieve. And so Fond du Lac spent many years doing pilot programs to see if there's a way that they can meet that phosphorus limit, things like that. Fortunately, here in Sheboygan, with just having a much bigger body of water that we're discharging into, our limit is only a 0.6. Okay. So instead of a 0.04, okay. we're at 0.6, and then we can be up to a 0.9 from one month to the other. So we're usually um, at about 0.14, 1.2. Okay. So we're well below that. And in talking with our um, our DNR rep in the Plymouth office, mm -hmm. it doesn't look like that's going to be changing anytime soon for for those of us that discharge in Lake Michigan. Um, you might have heard of uh, studies called TMDLs, Total Maximum Daily Loads. Mm -hmm. The DNR conducts these periodically in certain types of waters. Um, in fact, there's one for some of the lakeshore communities, but we're not affected again since we're going right into Lake Michigan. So again, nothing on the horizon that looks like phosphorus is going to be Great. And open up questions here. Okay. Like to defend the great grades. Mm -hmm. Yes. Love to see it. All right. Yeah. I guess I'm looking for a motion. I move to approve. Second. Been made and seconded. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Okay. Next meeting date is June 2024, seeing as we have exhausted. And uh, looking for a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.